The September 12th Name Your Tune Tune for the virtual guided session will be the Skylark. Here is the Skylark uh, once around. On the first A part, maybe I'll play a longer phrase, and on the second A part, maybe I'll chunk it a little bit more in case you need more breaths. Nice to have the options. And it's musical variety as well. And then I'll go on to the B part. I'll play that twice around, and then I'll play the tune phrase by phrase, and we might script in a little melodic variation. Let's see what happens. strange place to start. That's how I play the last phrase. Da, 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 da. But James Morrison played it. That's maybe how he wrote it. If he recorded it that way, that's probably how he wrote it. Um, so I think it's great when you're learning a tune to consider melodic inventiveness, to be flexible, so one way to strengthen your ability to be creative on the fly and to be flexible if somebody else has a different version of a tune, for example, uh, on the fly, is um, to learn things flexibly. So uh, let's go ahead and script in um, those two different ways of playing the end of the B part as we learn the tune. So here it is, phrase by phrase. Or if you needed the breath, so on to the third phrase. It is the same as the phrase. It's the same as the first phrase. You might want to breathe after the downbeat though. So instead of going, you go. And here is the final phrase. Okay, on to the B part. Or how great to have that flexibility. Also, in the very beginning of the tune, I think that one time in there, a G snuck in. Instead of going, I may have done. You can do those interchangeably. And also, even more different. And that's how James Morrison played it the first time around. Some other ideas for places to breathe. Okay, so go over that um, as is helpful and uh, look forward to playing that with you at the virtual guided session on September 12th.